Hi everyone, welcome back to the quiz and answer discussion session. So today's question is, which of the following drug can be used as a life-saving measure in the case of Amanita phalloidus poisoning? A choice, physostigmine, B choice, atropine, C choice, silimarin, D choice, N-acetylcysteine, and E choice, both C and D. So Amanita phalloides. So let's understand uh, the fact about Amanita phalloides. So it belongs to the mushroom category. Amanita phalloides is a mushroom. So the question is basically regarding the mushroom poisoning. So the important thing you need to remember, there are different types of mushrooms. And uh, the, depending on the different species of mushroom, the symptoms are different and the treatment is also different. Okay, now let's understand a few facts about mushroom poisoning. Mushroom poisoning is also called as mycetism. The other name of mushroom poisoning is mycetism. Okay, now there are mainly two ki types of mushroom poisoning. One is the early mushroom poisoning. Early mushroom poisoning. The second one is called as the delayed mushroom poisoning. Now what is the basic difference between the early mushroom poisoning and delayed mushroom poisoning is that in the case of um, early mushroom poisoning the symptoms the symptoms will start within 30 minutes. The symptoms will start within 30 minutes in the case of early mushroom poisoning. Whereas in the case of delayed mushroom poisoning, the symptoms will be uh, starting after 12 hours only. Okay, It may take even one day also. So here the symptoms are delayed that it will take at least 12 hours. Whereas here it will be an immediate symptom that will be within 30 minutes. Now, uh, which are the species of mushroom that causes uh, early mushroom poisoning? Now, uh, there are mainly four species uh, which causes the early mushroom poisoning. One important one is uh, Boletus mushroom. Boletus mushroom. The second one is uh, Clitocyte mushroom species. Clitocyte mushroom. The third one is Inocyte mushroom. So Boletus, Clitocybe and as well as Inocybe mushroom, they all uh, belongs to the early mushroom poisoning. One more is there, that is Amanita muscaria species. Amanita muscaria species. Okay. So this four, these four mushroom, they are basically cause the early mushroom poisoning. In the case of uh, delayed uh, mushroom, the main example is Amanita phalloides. Amanita phalloides species. Okay, so delayed mushroom poisoning in the case of delayed mushroom, it is Amanita phalloides species, whereas in the case of early mushroom poisoning, the main species are Boletus, Clitocyte, Inocyte, as well as Amanita muscaria species. Now, let's understand, uh, let's come to the early mushroom poisoning. early mushroom poisoning so as i told the main species are boletus the second one is clito uh, clitocyte the third important one is inocyte so this three mushroom species boletus clitocyte as well as inocyte the main content the main content here it is muscarin the main content present in these uh, three species are muscarin and you know that muscarin is actually a cholinergic kind of drug cholinergic kind of drug so the symptoms here mainly the symptoms what will be symptoms which happens during the poisoning of boletus or clitocybe or inocybe are mainly cholinergic symptoms will be the main symptoms cholinergic symptoms will be the main and the mainly diarrhea lacrimation excessive secretion will be there lacrimation then uh, the heart rate will be there that is a classical symptom of uh, cholinergic so bradycardia 
so basically all these are actually cholinergic symptoms are the main symptoms which happens the happens during the poisoning of boletus clitocyte and inocyte the reason is that it contains the main content is muscarin which is a cholinergic kind of component cholinergic component so the symptoms also will be cholinergic symptoms like diarrhea lacrimation bradycardia therefore the treatment when you need to treat this kind the poisoning which is happened due to um, uh, this boletus clitocyte inocyte since the symptoms are cholinergic you need to give an anti cholinergic drug therefore the drug of choice for the treatment of this kind of uh, mushroom poisoning is definitely an anti cholinergic drug which is atropin so atropin is the drug of choice for the mushroom poisoning which is happened due to boletus clitocyte and inocyte okay you can remember this mnemonic bill clinton in america bill clinton in america this is the mnemonic you could remember b stands for boletus clinton c stands for clitocyte i i n stands for inocyte so america stands for atropin so atropin is the drug of choice for for boletus clitocyte inocyte you can remember this mnemonic okay now coming to the fourth species which causes uh, uh, early mushroom poisoning that is amanita muscaria amanita muscaria this also causes a delay a early mushroom poisoning amanita muscaria here the main thing you need to remember the main content although the name is muscaria the amount of muscarin is very low muscarin is very very low here okay so the main content is not muscarin in fact the main content is is called as mucimol so in the case of uh, boletus clitocyte inocyte the main content was muscarin whereas in the case of amanita muscaria the muscarin amount is very low and the main content is mucimol now here the symptoms are since the muscarin is very low there is no cholinergic symptom rather the symptoms are basically excitatory symptoms mainly the excitatory symptoms are the main symptoms which happens during the amanita muscaria poisoning now coming to the treatment since the symptoms are excitatory the main treatments are one you need to give a symptomatic treat treatment symptomatic treatments supportive treatments you need to give regarding the drugs the main treatments are since it is an excitatory symptoms you need to bring it down you need to calm it down therefore the treatments are mainly benzodiazepines like midazolam or uh, you can give barbiturates to bring down the excitation you can give this kind of uh, uh, benzodiazepine or barbiturates like thiopentone so these are the very commonly used drugs in the case of amanita muscaria poisoning benzodiazepines and barbiturates here the symptoms are excitatory so to bring it down you need to give a uh, benzodiazepines or barbiturates here also you can remember this mnemonic to increase the muscle to increase the muscle you can uh, drink boost or bonvita where the first b stands for benzodiazepines the second b stands for barbiturates barbiturates m stands for the muscaria species so in the case of muscaria species uh, the drugs are b boost and bonvita you can remember that is benzodiazepine and barbiturates now coming to the so here we have covered this early mushroom poisoning drugs that is boletus clitocyte inocyte and muscaria amanita muscaria species now coming to the delayed mushroom poisoning the main species i told is amanita phalloides okay now now coming to that amanita phalloides which causes a delayed which is, is an example for uh, delayed mushroom poisoning amanita phalloides so let's understand a few fact about uh, amanita phalloides species so this is considered to be one of the most toxic mushroom most toxic mushroom or the most one of the most uh, poisonous mushroom so amanita phalloides is considered to be one of the most toxic as well as one of the most poisonous mushroom they are in fact called as a death 
கேப் தேர் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் அஸ் டெத் கேப் மஷ்ரூம் த அதர் நேம் ஆஃப் அமானிட்டா ஃபெலாய்டர் ஸ்பீஷிஸ் இஸ் டெத் கேப் மஷ்ரூம் நவ் ஹியர் த மெயின் கண்டென்ட் இன் த கேஸ் ஆஃப் அமானிட்டா ஃபெலாய்டர் ஸ்பீஷிஸ் த மெயின் கண்டென்ட் இஸ் அமாடாக்சின் த கண்டென்ட் ஹியர் இஸ் அமாடாக்சின் in fact the zama toxin actually inhibit the liver function the liver function will be inhibited it also inhibit the kidney function so this is a really toxic kind of uh, compound ama toxin that is the main cause for the samanita phalloides mushroom poisoning the ama toxin is the content now coming to the treatment in the case of uh, amanita phalloides mainly the treatment will be symptomatic coming to the drugs although there is no antidote for uh, this mushroom poisoning some of the life saving drugs include you can remember penicillin g then silimarin silimarin is also called as silibinin silimarin is also called as silibinin another one the uh, fourth one is cysteine that is n acetyl cysteine so in the case of uh, uh, amanita phalloides poisoning you can remember this mnemonic psc psc where p stands for penicillin g s stands for silimarin and c stands for cysti so although there is no specific antidote these are one of the life saving measures uh, apart from the symptomatic treatment the life saving measures include penicillin g silimarin and n acetyl cysti and in fact um, amanita phalloides is one of the most toxic or the most poisonous mushroom now coming back to the question which of the following drug can be used as a life saving measure in the case of amanita phalloides poisoning i asked you to remember psc where p stands for penicillin g S stands for silimarin and C stand, stands for N-acetyl cysteine. The, so the correct answer would be definitely E choice, both C and D. Thank you.